This is rebel-held territory in eastern Myanmar. More than 100 young people, mostly in their 20s, are going through rigorous military drills. The new recruits to the Bama People's Liberation Army, or BPLA, are former chefs, ex-journalists, rappers, and poets. But they all share a common goal, overthrowing the military regime that seized power in the Southeast Asian nation in 2021. The BPLA's basic training is renowned for its harshness. For recruits, days start at 4 a.m. and end at 9 p.m. They get one day off, Sunday. It lasts for three months, pushing recruits to their limits. They train all day under the scorching sun without any water. Discipline is enforced with harsh blows for any mistake. After morning drills and following dinner, political lessons take place. Every evening they hear from the BPLA's leader, Mong Song Ka. He was once an anti-war poet. Now he delivers political education to the recruits, delving into the group's founding principles, structure, and even gender equality. The BPLA represents the country's Bama ethnic majority and is a prominent force in Myanmar's resistance movement. Myanmar won independence from Britain in 1948, but has long been dominated by its military. In 2021, a brief period of civilian rule ended with a coup that toppled the government of Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi. The BPLA formed shortly after that. And since October of last year, it's been a key player in Operation 1027, a joint offensive with other rebel militias that has significantly weakened the military. More than 20 BPLA soldiers have died in battles since 2021. I think there was this initial compulsion, you know, let's go, let's fight. David Scott Matheson is an independent analyst on Myanmar who spoke to Reuters from Thailand. I do think that there's a widespread recognition that we have to keep going because we've got to topple the military once and for all to establish a future stability and and a future freedom. Different from the one that we had before. Because the one we had before was always conditional because the military was always there. At the training ground, this 19-year-old soldier says things are tougher and more tiring than expected. She says she sometimes feels depressed, but the recruits are encouraging each other, adding, I don't regret the hardship. 